I call the member for the tribe. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker, and I congratulate you on your retirement and service to the country. I move the motion relating to the animal testing of cosmetics in the terms it appear, which it appears on the notice paper. Cosmetic testing on animals is wrong, it is barbaric, it is cruel, and it's no longer necessary. As Abraham Lincoln once said, and I quote, I'm in favour of animals' rights as well as humans' rights. That is the way of a whole human being. End of quote. It is time for modernisation, increased global harmonisation of Australia's cosmetic testing regulations through the implementation of a cosmetics animal testing ban. This private member's motion highlights the need to prohibit new animal testing for cosmetic products or their ingredients, and the manufacture and sale of cosmetics newly tested on animals or containing newly animal tested ingredients. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Hannah Stewart from Humane Research Australia and the Choice Cruelty Free campaigners, as well as Bruce Spoon from the AJP, for bringing this issue to me and for being so passionate about protecting animals. Testing the ingredients of cosmetics like mascara, shampoo on living creatures is completely unnecessary cruelty. And it's time Australia joined the growing number of countries around the world which have banned this practice. There are already testing bans on the importation sales in place in European Union, Norway, India, Israel, also recently New Zealand. And now uh, there's consideration for legislation in United States, Canada, Taiwan, Brazil, Vietnam and other countries. Without a comprehensive legal ban, there is nothing to prevent cosmetic animal testing taking place here in Australia or overseas during the development of products which are to be sold in Australian stores. A ban in Australia would be good for animals, consumers and science, and it's the, what, the, what the overwhelming majority of Australian citizens want. A majority of Australians oppose animal testing on cosmetics and support banning the sale of newly animal tested cosmetics. Polling conducted in May 2013 by Nexus Research on behalf of the Humane Research Australia found the following. An overwhelming majority of Australians, 85%, oppose using animals in the development of cosmetics. A large majority support a national ban on the sale of cosmetics tested on animals. That is four out of five Australians who support a national ban. A recent opinion poll, July 2014, by Roy Morgan Research also showed a significant level of consumer concern about animal testing of cosmetics. The data revealed that there is now a strong shift towards cruelty-free beauty products, with not tested on animals being one of the top three features that Australian consumers look for when they buy cosmetics, ranking higher than anti-aging benefits and sun protection factors. Prohibiting cosmetic animal tests, testing and the sale of newly animal tested cosmetics in Australia would reflect both growing global trend to end cosmetics testing and the will of the Australians who pose using animals for the development of cosmetics. Currently hundreds of companies including Lush, Nature's Organics, NATO Australis and many others such as those listed in the choice free uh, CCF list have sworn off animal testing, yet still produce new safe and fabulous beauty products. They do so by using existing ingredients with established histories of safe, state-of-the-art non-animal tests that can produce faster, cheaper and more relevant test results. Many animal tests are decades old and have inherent well-known scientific weaknesses due to species differences that make regulation based on animal tests highly questionable. Can I just describe some of the tests um, and the results? The acute toxicity, toxicity test, the test substance is forced down the rat's throat using a syringe. Animals may experience diarrhoea, convulsion, bleeding from the mouth, seizures, paralysis, and ultimately death. Repeated do dose toxicity. Rats or mice are force fed a substance every day for 28 days to 90 days. At the end of the experiment, the animals are killed as their organs are then examined. And the skin allergy. The test substance is applied to the surface of skin or is injected on the, the ears of guinea pigs or applied on the ears of a, a mouse. Um, they 
end up getting ulcers, scaling, inflammation and itchiness. Um, this must stop and it must stop now and I strongly encourage the Australian Government to end this practice.